Yeah, I want to share with you that I want to say two things that we actually did that increased our rates uh, quickly and were fairly easy. So uh, one is I want you to consider using Contra. So what is Contra? Contra is trading your service or your accommodations um, in exchange for that person's service. So when I first took over the resort, at least managing um, our resort, <laughs> one thing that I had to do and I had no money was look at, okay, I want, I want to sell this experience to a higher end guest. And what we have here right now, I don't know if it presents it itself as the kind of experience that a higher end guest want. My, my personal uh, goal was to try and bring in families that were multimillionaires from Europe to come and stay with us. Our current, cur our current guest base at that time was a middle class, lower middle class, middle class uh, individual. And that just wasn't what our product offering was. And I thought, okay, this isn't my idea, by the way. This is after talking to other resort owners that really challenged me on this. So I'm gonna challenge you on this, which is take a hard look at what you've got and ask yourself, is this, is this presenting itself um, to the caliber of guests that I wanna bring in? And if the answer is no, which it was for us, then if you don't have the finances that are there, consider contract, consider trading services for money. So what I did in the, in the early days was I reached out to, if I just got kind of lucky, um, because this was the first conversation I had, but I reached out to a friend that was a professional photographer. He was a professional photographer in the real estate space. He worked with um, people that were multimillionaires that were selling multi-million dollar homes. So he had a sense of what that market was looking for. And I approached him and I said, Andrew, his name is Andrew, now you know, uh, what would it take in order to get you in all I need, all I need to get going with this is I need five photos. I need five photos in order to start projecting to the world, to, to the people that I want to bring in, start projecting to them um, what we've got here. Now, what's really interesting in this is that I want you guys to know I didn't change anything about the product or I didn't, and I didn't change anything about the service. So all I did was look at the way that we were presenting this to the world. Um, Andrew took some pity on me and he agreed to come in, give me my five photos if, uh, if I allowed him to bring in a group of friends and stay for free. And then also we, had a, we did have a deal where <laughs> when the revenue started to come in, then I would back pay him like 500 bucks, which was, for him, that was, it was cheap. It was, it was not what his rates were. His rates were much higher than that. But he said, okay, you pay me 500 bucks, I'll come in and stay for a few days with my friends. I'll go around and snap a bunch of photos. Obviously, it's not a lot more than five, but from that, we edited five key photos that became the initial photos that started drawing some of our higher end clientele. Within a couple of weeks of posting that, those photos, we uh, saw our inquiries increase. And what I can tell you guys that's pretty exciting is within a year of that photo shoot happening, we actually brought our first multi million dollar family from Europe to come and stay at our property, which is pretty cool. The second component that I used early on to increase the rates of my bookings. It's been an interesting one. It was pre-selling something that we didn't have, but I, I had a strong suspicion that there was a demand in the market. So the question is, how do you, how do you determine if there's a demand in the market or not? The way that I did this is I went to a tool called Google Trends. You go to Google Trends, you literally go into Google, type in Google Trends, and I type in the term um, cabins, and at that time, they'll, they'll give you related trends. They'll say, okay, here are trends that are related to the, the search term that you've put in there. I probably do this a little bit differently today. Um, I'll explain to you guys what I would do today, but that's what I did at the time. And what I found was a couple of interesting things. One was I noticed that uh, a lot of people were searching for cabins with porches. And we had cabins, but we always called them decks. We're like, oh, we have cabins with decks. But what we noticed was that the search trends for cabins with porches was a lot higher than cabins with decks. So we changed some of the wording around that. The other thing that I saw that was really interesting was for our region, uh, massive amount of searches for cabins with hot tubs. And what I also knew, just knowing and being somewhat aware of who was in the area, there weren't really any offerings for cabins with hot tubs, including ourselves. We didn't have cabins with hot tubs. But I thought, well, there's clearly a demand there. So what if I just 
listed a cabin with a hot tub and put it out there and see if I can pre-sell this thing. So what I did is I went to our website. I listed that we had a cabin with a hot tub that was only available in the winter. And for us at the time that I was making these changes, it was in the spring. And I thought, well, you know what, if I can get three bookings within the next few weeks for a cabin with a hot tub, that'll give me enough money to put a deposit on a hot tub and then I'll go buy it and I'll put it in the cabin. And as it stood, um, once we put that offering out there that we had a cabin with a hot tub for the winter, which we obviously didn't have yet, uh, we started to get inquiries for that cabin with a hot tub. It allowed us to increase our rates on that cabin by, I believe, $60 a night, um, which I didn't go out and buy a brand new hot tub. I went and found a used hot tub. It wasn't that expensive. I can tell you that we paid for the cost of that hot tub and installation within half a year of installing it. And that, that led us down a path to looking at um, installing hot tubs and other cabins and also that being for a while our most lucrative cabin where the rates were far, far higher on that and most in demand cabin. So sometimes it's worth looking at what, what is going on in the market, what's the market looking for, and then pre-selling that thing and it's not exactly lying, it's saying we will have this thing in this, like in the frost, we will have this thing in the winter or the fall or the spring or whatever, that's a couple seasons away. How would I do it today? Um, today, I use a tool called Keywords Everywhere. So Keywords Everywhere, it's a, a, you literally Google Keywords Everywhere, you can download it. Now they charge a, a very, very small amount for their service, well worth it, a couple of bucks, and it'll give you all the related search terms. Uh, that's what I use for a tool now. So I'll go in, I'll look at what people are searching, what people are looking for, and I try and anticipate what the market needs are before um, before we even have them. And then I'll look at pre-selling um, a variety of things depending on what the market's looking for. But that first thing was looking at, uh, at what the market was looking for. It happened to be hot tubs and we were pre-selling that and that allowed us to increase our, our rates right away, immediately. So those are two things that we did that were pretty quick and had a very fast turnaround for us in terms of allowing us to increase our rates. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, then there's a ton more resources for you over at tourismmanagementacademy.com. Head over there, find the resources that you need in order to take your destination to the next level. The other thing that would be awesome is let me know how you are receiving these videos. Just go into the comments below Tell me what your questions are, what your challenges are. I absolutely read those, and that's what is the basis for our, our next video. So go ahead, go down there, let me know what you're thinking. And if you're liking these videos, then for sure, smash that subscribe button.